Yahoo's getting more web traffic than Google? Let's take a look at how we got here. Much media coverage of Yahoo is focused on the very visible, or visual even, like reports it's unveiling a new logo after Labor Day, or CEO Marissa Mayer gracing the cover of Vogue, looking all Vogue it would appear. So she's on Vogue, but what's in Vogue in many media narratives is this. Mayer used to work for Google, you guys, just needed to drop that quick reminder. And since she came to Yahoo in 2012, the company has made an acquisition or two, including Tumblr for $1.1 billion. So many headlines, but was anyone really ready for this one? USA Today calls it sweet revenge for Marissa Mayer. Because this, Yahoo tops US web traffic, beats Google for first time since 2011 from the Washington Post. Or Yahoo beats Google to the top spot, says NBC. Headline it however you want. The numbers from Comscore's monthly reports show Yahoo with 196 million unique visitors in July. Google came in second with 192 million, marking the first time Yahoo's beaten Google for that top spot since 2011. Bloomberg notes Yahoo's 21% jump from this time last year. That's 4.3 million more than Google, operator of the world's most popular search engine, up less than 1%. And remember that media focus on Yahoo's acquisitions? Comscore VP of Industry Analysis Andrew Lipsman tells Forbes Tumblr had nothing to do with the gain because the two sites' traffic were measured separately. Lipsman points out that even with its troubles in recent years, Yahoo has never been far behind, so the gain is probably due chiefly to seasonal or month-to-month -month variations. Despite the perceived win, several reports note these numbers don't include mobile, but Mayer says Yahoo has been focused on growing in that space, claiming its revamped Yahoo Mail app for tablets brought a 120% increase in daily active Yahoo Mail users. No official comment from Mayer or Yahoo on the latest news, but the company stock is up more than 80% from a year ago. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne.